Day four on our seven day Eastern Caribbean cruise and today we are in the British Virgin Islands. This island is gorgeous. It reminded me so much of Hawaii with the mountains and the crystal clear water and the white sandy beaches. It's just breathtaking. On this day, we decided to cancel the Disney excursion and just do it on our own. And I'm so glad that we did. It was very simple and so much fun. We were free to go ahead and just take our time and do it how we wanted to do it. On this excursion, we went to Virgin Gorda to visit the bass. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how we did it. So stay tuned. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning just to make sure that we were well prepared for the day. You could see in the distance that we were approaching the islands. I had ordered some room service the night prior, just some coffee and pastries, a quick grab and go breakfast. I filled out the sheet that room service leaves in your room the night before, so that was already pre-planned. I got myself ready for the day, got the bags prepared, and then I had some coffee. I then woke up the boys, they had some breakfast, and got ready for the day as well. We were allowed to get off the ship at 7.30. I did want to be down there at least 20 minutes before. I wasn't sure how the crowds were going to be or if people were going to be lined up. Here we are pulling into Tortola. We took a few pictures on our veranda and then we headed down to get ready to disembark. So we were the first ones down there and there was only one other family that was waiting with us on the side of the ship that we got off. I want to say they let us off the ship about 7.25 and our ferry was leaving at 7.45. The walk over to the ferry was about 10 minutes or so. So as soon as you get off the ship, you're going to go left um, and then go through this field and follow this road around. You'll then come up to the sidewalk, so just follow the sidewalk around. When the sidewalk ends, you're going to come up to this dirt path, so just follow this dirt path till you get to the parking lot. You're just going to cut through this parking lot. To the left, you can see that blue ferry over there. You're just going to make your way over to that ferry. And then you've made it. It took us only about 10 minutes to walk here. We just paid for the ferry and the cab ticket together once we got on the ferry. The cost together was about $30 a person. So the ferry ride is about 30 minutes to Virgin Gorda. And once you get there, you do have to take a taxi over to the Bass, which is about an eight minute drive or so. Also, the ferry ride was a little bit choppy. There was a little one that got seasick on our boat, so just keep that in mind as well. Once you get to Virgin Gorda, you're going to go over to that parking lot. The employees will tell you which taxi is yours. Here's a list of the times of when the ferry will take you back to Tortola. So we had to be back aboard our ship by 545 this day. So we could have taken the 3 p.m. ferry back and still made it back in time. However, I was really nervous about missing the ship. So we took the 10.30 a.m. back along with a lot of other guests that came off of our ship. So since we decided to take that 10.30 ferry back, we had about an hour and 40 minutes at the baths. We were able to see and do everything that we wanted to do. We went snorkeling for a while, so it was plenty of time. These are the taxis that take you and a group of people over to the baths. And then when you get there, there is a bathroom right before you get on the trail. Make sure to use the bathroom or your little ones use the bathroom because there won't be another one until the very end.
After an easy hike, we made it to Devil's Bay. This is where the first beach is, and it is breathtaking. There was nobody at this beach. That's the advantage of getting here so early. Our original excursion with Disney wouldn't have started until 12 something. And by that time, I'm sure it would have been really busy. I wish we would have spent more time at this beach before finishing our hike because the next beach did have quite a bit of people. After spending some time by the beach, we headed through these huge boulders. The views are just magical through these caves. Once you make it through the caves, it brings you over to another beach. This beach is just as beautiful as the other one. This side does have a bar and a small shopping area as well. And as you can see, this side has a lot more people. This was around 9am-ish in the morning, so as you can imagine, the later it gets, the more busier it will be. So try to get here early. We went down a little ways to set up an area for our stuff and then we went snorkeling.
My waterproof case was terrible, so I didn't get any really good footage of the fish that I saw, but there was a lot of colorful fish. I even saw some squid. If you look, you can see the squid kind of swimming past here. They're almost translucent, so they're hard to see, um, but right there is one, and then there is another one right there as well. After swimming for a while, we stopped at this cute little coconut hut. I got a pina colada, Brian got a rum punch, and then the boys got a frozen drink as well. They put fresh nutmeg on the top of your drinks, which I thought was interesting. We did some shopping and then we had to be back at the taxi about 10 a.m. The ferry left at 10.30 and Brian, Bryson, and Verdon all fell asleep. We made it back to Tortola around 11 a.m. and then we did some shopping. They have a lot of these cute little shops that have a lot of knickknacks, sweaters, t-shirts, souvenirs. These shops were all set up by the locals. There was a lot of cute stuff. There's also wild chickens running around. Brayden got a passion fruit slushy thing. Brian was grabbing us a couple drinks from the bar and I was just enjoying these views. We also ordered some food at this restaurant. We got the jerk chicken. It was really good. I got a margarita, Brian got the rum punch again, and then we just kind of hung out for like an hour listening to music and enjoying the views. There's a lot of other little restaurants that you can try right along the water here. It's very close to the ship. Right when you get off the ship, there's a lot of little shops everywhere. We went to a place called Kenny's Teas um, and it had a lot of nice souvenirs in there. They had some live music in this plaza area here. The Christmas tree was still up and Brian was feeling great. Bryson didn't want to go shopping with us so he had already headed back to the ship. We took some pictures in front of the BVI sign and then in front of the Fantasy. And then we headed back to the ship as well. Disney, of course, spoils their customers, so we were greeted with these ice-cold towels. They also have a variety of ice-cold waters. And then they have those bins where you can put your dirty towels. 
We then got in line to get back on the ship. Before boarding the ship, you have to show identification and go through security. We then headed over to the pool because Brayden wanted to go swimming. Me and Brian were exhausted, so we just hung out and enjoyed the views of Tortola. We then headed back to the room to get showered and changed and ready for pirate night. Dinner was at Enchanted Garden for this night. I apologize, the pictures of the menu came out terrible, but here is some of the options that they give you at this restaurant. We started with the ahi tuna avocado tower and the lobster ravioli. Both of these were really tasty, I would get them again. And surprise, surprise, Brayden got mac and cheese again. Brian got the sea bass, and me and Bryson both got the scallops. These were so yummy. Here's a picture of the dessert menu. Brayden got the chocolate brownie sundae. Me and Bryson both got the warm sticky date pudding and Brian got the pecan tart. After dinner, the kids went to the kids club to do some pirate activities, and me and Brian went to the Sky Lounge. This is a martini bar. This lounge has a really cool atmosphere. Every 15 minutes, you feel like you're in a different country, and the martinis are really good. Also, the service that we received in here was top notch. This is a great place to come if you just want a relaxing evening. They play music to match the country that you are currently in. They also give you some light snacks. We then saw Peter Pan was out for a meet and greet, but his line was so long, so we decided to skip it. But as we were heading to the show, we ran into this Peter Pan, who was so great. He even had his very own pixie dust. And you have to think of the happiest thoughts. What's your happiest thoughts? Flying. Flying. All right, close your eyes and think of flying. <laughs> he was amazing. We then went to go find a spot for the show. A bunch of the kids were down there playing pirates, so Brayden went to go join them. After the show, we went back to the room and ordered some room service. It does take room service about 30 minutes to bring your food, so we all got cleaned up and ready for bed, put on Pirates of the Caribbean. I ordered the hot wings, Brian and Brayden got burgers, and then we also got some fries to share, and of course, Mickey bars. And that is all for day four. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tomorrow we are going to Puerto Rico, and I'm going to take you guys along with us. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can continue on this journey with us.